Now let's talk about India. Every monsoon, the country witnesses the same scenes. Flooded roads, disrupted services and citizens wondering if the situation will get better next year. Well, spoiler alert, it won't. Take India's capital, for example. Yesterday, New Delhi witnessed heavy rainfall. Life came to a standstill. Roads are still inundated. And the problem isn't the weather. It's the poor planning. Delhi's drainage plan dates back to 1976. It still follows that nearly half a century old plan. Why is that? Why is India not upgrading its infrastructure? And how is climate change exacerbating this problem? Our next report tells you. Yesterday, India's capital was caught by surprise. Record rains submerged Delhi. Parts of the city were inundated. Roads were flooded. Even the new parliament complex was waterlogged. There were traffic jams everywhere. Flights were diverted. The capital came to a standstill. It's the same picture every monsoon season. Rains come and India's cities plunge into chaos. Take Mumbai, for example. It's India's financial capital. The monsoon season lasts for three months. It's a known fact. Yet, every year, these are the scenes. Inundated roads, flooded railway tracks, offices and schools shut, and essential services disrupted. So what explains the same pictures every single year? What are Indian cities doing wrong? Well, it's a mix of three things. Rapid urbanization, bad planning and climate change. Historically, Indian cities haven't had much of a problem with this. They had natural drains, so there was minimal flooding. But then came rapid urbanization. Our cities grew bigger. Water bodies turned into localities for people to live in and thus began the problem. Take Bengaluru, for example. Three decades ago, the built-up area in the city was 27%. In 2021, it was 86%. And it's the case with every major city in India. In the last decade, urban population has gone from 391 million to 500 million. By 2050, it could reach 900 million. Our cities are overburdened. Space has to be made for the burgeoning population, which means unending construction. Concrete replacing green spaces, canals and water bodies being closed off, leaving these cities unable to absorb or drain water. Then there's bad planning. Look at Delhi, for example. The drainage plan that the city follows is from 1976. That's a 48-year-old plan and it's still being used. There have been efforts to make a new one, but Delhi hasn't been able to upgrade its infrastructure. It's the same for Mumbai, a city with a population of 22 million people, and its traffic is one of the worst in the world. But the city still doesn't have a functional metro network. It's been in the works for a while now. New York got its metro network in 1904. Shanghai got it in 1993. Even Delhi got it in 2002, so it's long overdue. But urbanization and bad planning aside, there's the added problem of climate change. Just look at what's happening across the country. Landslides in Vyanad. Cloudbursts in Himachal Pradesh. It's freak weather and it's turbocharged by climate change. But is the country prepared for it? Well, not really. Its climate policy is lacking. And if it doesn't change, it will not only affect how we live, but it will also affect our economy. In 2023, floods in North India led to a loss of over a billion dollars. In 2018, the recovery cost after the Kerala floods was $3.5 billion. We can't afford this, so India needs to upgrade its infrastructure and tackle the climate challenge head on. Or else we will be left wading in water year after year. Across continents, one powerful news source.
bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative. Across to the West Indies, where we expect 